All right, so here's a scale model of my machine. So there are two oxen, we've got one ox here, uh, and they're going round and round like this, okay? And as they do that, you can see that they're turning this big vertical shaft. And there are gear teeth, and the vertical shaft is turning this big round drum, which is slowly winding up a rope. And the rope would go to a pulley all the way up at the top of the cathedral, like so. And so as the ox continues to go round and round, and winding this thing up, you can see it's going to lift this load up to the top. So, I mean, this kind of hoist had been around, the, the idea of winding up a rope. However, um, there was a real uh, innovation I had to work on here. Two things. The first is that um, this, this machine, sometimes it's going to be just picking up a little load of bricks and mortar like this, or lunch for the workers. Or other times, it's going to be picking up a really heavy sandstone beam. And so if you, you need a lot more force then because of the greater weight. So what you do is it's essentially like a three-speed transmission. You uh, put the rope, instead of putting it on this big drum where it winds up pretty fast, you put it on one of these other shafts over here, okay? where it winds now much more slowly, but it can carry a much heavier load. By the way, on the slowest setting for the biggest beams, it takes about half an hour for them to get from the floor up to the, to the top of the cupola where we're, where we're uh, putting them in place. And there's one other thing that bugged me, is that oxen, they can only walk forward. They're not the smartest of creatures. So when you get something all the way to the top, you'd have to unharness the oxen, turn them around, and get them to go the other way. That takes a long time. So I figured out how to make a reverse gear. So what you do is you turn this uh, wheel down here, okay? And let's do it. We'll, we'll turn this wheel. And um, as we do that, I'm raising this thing. And now the top part of the gear is coming out of, out of mesh, out of alignment. Go a little more until it's loose, until it's free. Okay, that should be enough. And now, as the oxen keep going the same way, around and around, clockwise, but now the bottom gear's in mesh, and look at that, the drum's now turning the other way. So instead of lifting something, it's lowering it back down to the floor. This was completely unprecedented. The idea of having three different speeds and forward and reverse gear, nobody had ever heard of anything like it.